hello hello everyone welcome to my nookery this is where I do all my knitting and crocheting my tutorials and all my videos too um, I have got a Facebook group Linda's Crochet Nook and I'm also on Instagram as Linda Simpson Designs and Ravelry as Linda S Designs too uh, if you would like to join me and um, today after many many months of uh, my lovely friends in the community asking me to do a um, sock tutorial so this is it guys and what I've done I've put it all into one video but uh, in the description box I'll put the title of which part of the sock we're working on and the time so that if you want to if you know how to cast on if you just want a refresher on how to do the heel turn and gusset, heel flap and gusset or you want to know how to shape the toe or you want to just a refresher on how to do the kitchen stitch everything will be in the description box below these are the socks that we're going to make we're making little shorties guys little shorties i know these only look little but my i've only got tiny feet <laughs> as you can see and i've used um three millimeter nine inch circular needle three millimeter dpns um and i've used um finger finger weight yarn um but from vicky brown designs and um yes uh, you're going to need um the needles you're going to need a tapestry hook you're going to need uh, three place markers you're going to need stitch markers as well to help you um, make sure that both of the socks uh, are the same size so everything will be explained in the video and um, I hope you enjoy guys and as I, I say it throughout the video if you need any help just email me and uh, I'm more than happy to help. My email address is in the description box so check out the description box as well guys okay and uh, let's get to it guys. Hello everyone so we are going to be making, after so many requests guys, and thank you so much for requesting, we are going to make a shorty sock. Now I know this looks teeny weeny weeny because this is mine and you all know I've got little feet. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you a cheats way, well, for casting on and um, doing the first row and then joining in the round because when you join in the round guys the first row is really difficult and I find some people just give up so I am using a three millimeter nine inch circular needle these are from this these are knit pro symphony and they're the wooden ones and I'm going to be using uh, Knit Pro Symphony um, DPNs. These are three millimetre as well. And we're going to need one of these. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need... Whoops. You're going to need a tapestry needle. And you're going to need... I, for when I'm making my socks, I prefer the light bulbs. And you're going to need a few of them. You're also going to need, let me get this out. You're going to need three different colours of stitch mark, um, place markers. So you're going to need three of them. Plenty of these. So first off, what we're going to do, I'm just going to put them to one side. I only need two to begin with. And what we're going to do, and this yarn is from Vicky Brown Designs here in the UK. And it's um, 
20, uh, 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon and it is a finger weight. So we're going to do the um, cable cast on which is my preferred cast on and what we're going to do is I always like to leave a, a, a nice long tail and that's for weaving in and I'm going to use a DPN and my circular needle so what we're going to do is we're going to cast on 64 stitches and I'll just let me just move you down a bit uh, let me show you there we go okay move that out the way for now so I'll just show you if you've not done it before so I'll start at the beginning so I've made a slip knot and got my first stitch so for this second stitch what you do is you go in between as if you're going to knit it yarn round needle through swing to the right and use your left hand needle to put the stitch on the needle and then the next stitch you're going to go in between the first and the second stitch and you're going to yarn round needle through, swing to the right and pick the stitch up onto your left needle. So that's three. So I'll show you again. In, round, through, swing to the right, use the left hand needle to pick the stitch up. And you're going to do that until you've got 64 stitches. So, so it's in, round, through, swing to the right onto the left, in, round, through, swing to the right, onto the left. And you're just going to continue doing that guys until you've got 64 stitches. And it's easier using the same size DPN than it is to try and do it like that, especially if you're a new if you're if you're new to um, using circular needles. Okay, so I'm just going to continue casting on until I've got 64 stitches and then I will meet you back here and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we have got 64 stitches now, so we don't, don't need this. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, knit, we're going to do a knit two pearl two and we're going to just do the first row. We're not going to join in the first round because um, this is... Um, this will make it easier for you joining in the round. The first row, after you join in the round, after you've cast it on, especially the first row is always difficult. So if you just knit two, pearl two, whoops, knit two. Pearl two, and you continue doing that all the way to the end, and you should finish on a pearl two. So just continue that all the way round, and um, then I'll show you then on row two how to join in the round. I just think it's easier if you've never done socks before or you've never knitted on circular needles. When I started knitting on circular needles, especially for socks, this is what I did and um, it works for me uh, until I got more experience with knitting in the round with their uh, circular sock, you know, with circular needles. So all you're going to do is continue doing this and I will meet you at the others when we finish this row guys, okay? Okay, so we've finished the first row and making sure that you're 
it's not twisted you're going to so you've finished here okay and you should finish on a pale pale two so as you can see I put a marker I put a little marker and now we're going to join in the round so we're going to knit the first two stitches hold on let me just get this up a bit there we go so you're going to knit the first two stitches and this is when we're going to join it in the round can you see we've joined it and we're going to knit two and then we're going to pale two and you're going to continue all the way round can you see so we're on to pale two and you're going to knit and pale 32 stitches because we cast it on 64 and we're going to get to the um, and that will then um, help you to distinguish between the front of the sock and the back of the sock and by that I mean that is the front of the sock and the back of the sock is where you do your heel turn flap and gusset and then that is going to be um, then the base you know the sole of your sock so that's why we need the stitch markers so continue doing until you've got 32 stitches and I'll, I'll knit with you and all you do is just move your move your stitches around the needle quite easy it's this way is easier than if you just um, did your first row in the round because it can be quite difficult and quite tight and if you're a beginner to knitting socks then um, it, it can be quite frustrating which I know so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 31, 32 and that's where I'll put my next marker. There we go. And that's where I and I'll just continue knitting and knit two pale two until I get to the next marker. So I will see you at the other end, guys. Okay. So as you can see, it's uh, in the round. It's knitting nicely in the round. Okay. So I'll see you when we get to the end. When we get to this pink marker. Okay. So I've done the second row as you can see and I've moved the stitch marker across and I've knit the first two stitches um, now what you need to do is you need to do another four knit two pale twos for the rib if you want your rib a little bit wider than this if you want it a little bit wider you can go up to ten, sti ten rows but if you um, but for me, six rows is plenty. So go away. Um, I'm going to go away now and I'm going to do um, another four more rows of the ribbon um, for this um, shorty sock. Uh, just a little tip, guys. When you're using your place markers, as you can see, I put pink for the beginning. So I know this is going to be the front of the sock all the way round to the green one and then the green to the pink is going to be the back of the sock where I do the heel turn, uh, heel flap and gusset so yeah 
so um, I'll meet you back here when we've done another four rows which will make it six if you want to do eight if you want to do ten it's entirely up to you but I'll meet you back here when I've completed the rib so we've done the six rows or however many rows you wish to do of knit two pearl two ribbing now we're going to do uh, and I've come round to the start of to go round my next row so here this next row we're going to just knit all the way round till we get back to the start so just knit um, I'm only going to do one row and then half a row of knit but you can do two rows, you can do three rows, it depends on how you like to wear your shorty sock. So we're just going to knit all the way around to the, um, for me, my pink marker, which is the beginning. And you always know the beginning of the next round because you've got this tail from where you cast it on. So that is a good indicator that you're in the right place. And um, yeah, so I will meet you, um, do this row of knit or two rows or three rows. I wouldn't do too many um, if you want a, a shorty sock. Obviously, if you want to make a longer sock, then you do that. But um, for the shorty sock, I'm just doing, going to do one row and then I'm going to do half a row so that means from there to this green marker I'll knit again but I'll come back and show you then so yeah so I will see you when we come back to the beginning of the next row and we'll go from there because we're going to be going on to the heel turn then so I'll see you at the other side Okay, so we're going to now knit, so I've done my first knit row and I'm going to now work, knit the next 32 stitches until I get to my next marker and then we're going to start the heel turn. Um, and um, I know a few people have problems with this so I will show you as you know as I will go really slow for you so that you can um understand what I'm what I'm going about to show you so um yeah so nearly there guys so as I was saying you need to knit from the start which whatever colour marker you've used where the tail is to the other marker and then um, we're going to do the heel flat uh, heel turn, and once you once you master that, it's really really easy, guys. Really easy, and I'll show you how to keep um, track of how many rows. Um, I do 32, 32 rows, and I'll just show you. So there we go. I'm at the marker. So let me just show you. So if you can see, see here, this is what we're going to be doing next. Um, after I've done the first two rows, I put a marker. So um, I know then, because we slip uh, on the uh, knit row, we slip the stitch. Um, and we should have 16 of these so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so that is an indicator so that doesn't um, that helps me then um, and I don't get confused with how many stitches some people um, take it from the back using these but for me I I um, I much prefer doing it this way, counting up the sixteen, um, sixteen V's. Oh well, there's sixteen knit stitches, but there's slipped stitches. So once I've got, I know I've got sixteen slip stitches, then I know I've done enough. So now we're going to go on to this, 
we're still going to be working uh, using our circular needles we're not going anything so now we're going to be doing the heel heel turn so the first stitch you're going to slip so you're going to slip it and then you're going to knit one then you're going to slip and you're going to knit one moving my stitches round and slip and knit and slip and knit and slip and knit slip and knit slip and knit slip and knit slip so you're slipping it kind of pale ways so you put your needle into the front of the stitch and just slip it on hold on I've done that that should be a knit so let's do it again so you're going to put your needle into the front of the stitch as if you're going to pearl it and slip it and then you're going to knit and then you're going to slip knit slip knit slip knit slip knit slip knit and right to you go up to the front to the next marker and then you're going to slip knit slip knit and the last stitch should always be a knit stitch so you're going to turn your work and now we're going to pearl get rid of that tail so now we're going to pearl and you're going to slip the first stitch on the on every row you're going to slip the first stitch pearl wise and by that I mean you're going to have the yarn in the front and you're going to slip it and then you're going to pearl you're going to, you're going to pearl all your you're going to pearl them 32 um, stitches and you're just going to pearl right the way across to the other side and I'll show you uh, the next uh, the next row again um, and it's a just a two rows repeat for this until you've done 32 rows so the first row is um, slip one knit one to the end and the second row is slip one pearl to the end so we'll just pearl right across that and don't forget guys if you've got any questions you can email me my email address is always in the description box and I'll have the time stamps as well so you can if you know how to cast on your socks and, and that you, you and you just uh, want to do the heel flap and gusset then that's fine right okay so now we're on row two now before I go any further I'll show you. so we're going to get, do exactly the same so the, the yarn at the back you go as if you're going to pearl it but you're slipping it then you knit slip 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 <laughs> knit slip and that's all you do right to the end so I'll just continue doing it and then I'll show you again how to start the pearl row And if you don't end on a knit row, you've done something wrong. So take it back and find out where you've you've gone wrong. I've done it, so I'm sure 
everybody else has done it as well so we're going on to a pearl row now okay so what we're going to do is we're going to slip that first stitch and then we're going to pearl right to the end just take your time guys if it's the first time you're doing um, the heel heel turn flap and gusset or whatever a heel turn heel flap and gusset is what I call it so um, I hope this helps helps you and I will show you what after I've done the first four rows then I add my um, stitch marker so let me just get to the end here and then I'll show you the two different ways that you can tell how many rows you've done right okay so that's the end right on this row if you can see you've got um, this kind of longer loop here and then this longer loop and they're on the um, so that set tells me I've done four rows because there's two of them so I've done four rows and sometimes that I get confused with that especially if I've got a heavily patterned yarn so what I do for me that works for me is the slip stitches the slip stitches are am I on the right row yes I am yes I am I um, prefer the slip stitches so if you can see here even though I've done four rows there's only two V's and they're the slip stitches because on obviously you don't knit them so what I do is I get my light bulb and in the first one which is there I just pop that in there and from there I count up until I've got 16 of them ending with a pearl row obviously so that is how I mark them how I mark that but if you prefer and you can see the back like with this yarn I can see the back but if it's a heavily patterned um, variegated yarn and it, sometimes it can or a dark yarn it can be really difficult to see so we've done four rows and now I need you to go away and do the next 28 rows and then I will show you how to do the flap so I will see you um, when we go to do the flap okay so now we're going on to the flap and as you can see I've got 16 V's so that's one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so that's the green one so I've taken those off just for the time being while I'm working on this so now we're going to do the flap and what you're going to do is you're going to slip one then you're going to knit 16 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and then what you're going to do next is you're going to slip two stitches so that's one 
two so you're going to slip two stitches from the left and put them on the right needle so you're going to do one two and then you're going to knit into the back of them into the front of them and and you knit two together there okay and then you're going to knit one then you're going to turn you're going to slip the first stitch and you're going to pale three so you're going to do one two three then you're going to pale two together pale one and turn okay so you've got six stitches you're going to work on them next six stitches then you're going to slip and then you're going to knit to the last stitch so you've got one stitch you're going to slip that you're going to slip the one off the left needle onto the right and then you're going to knit them two together knit one and then you're going to turn and then you're going to slip and pearl to the last stitch so we've come to the last stitch and you're going to put your needle through that stitch and one on the right so you've got two stitches and you're going to pale them two together pale one so what you're doing is on every row you're going to pick up a stitch from here and knit two together and then knit one and then you're going to pearl to the last stitch pearl that two stitches together pearl one and you until you come to um, having so you've collected all these stitches of the left and off the right needle so let's do it again and I'll show you again so you're going to slip slip knit to the last stitch three four five six so I've got the last stitch I'm going to slip that onto my right needle slip this one onto my right needle put my needle between the two stitches and knit them two and then I'm going to knit one and as you can see you're forming the flap can you see how it's forming so on the next row you slip one and you pearl to the last stitch one two three four five six seven so I've got one stitch on there I'm going to put my right hand needle through that stitch through another stitch so I've picked up two stitches I'm going to pearl them two together and then I'm going to pearl one I'm going to turn and I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to knit to the last stitch and that's what you do until you get right to the and uh, until you've collected until you've picked up all the stitches on both sides and that forms your flap then that sits nicely nice and snugly on the on your heel so you're going to slip that one slip that one knit two together you're going to knit one you're going to turn you're going to slip one and then you're going to pearl to the last stitch I'll just do this with you guys all the way to the end um, and that because this for some people this is the difficult um, this is where most people go wrong so you've got one stitch left there and you've got a stitch here so you're going to put two together and then you're going to pale one so we've got two four six stitches here 
and we've got the same amount here two four six stitches and when you've collected all these six stitches on both sides and then that's that's your um, flap done so we're going to skip the first slip the first stitch and then we're going to just knit to the last stitch I think it's easier for me to show you this than and go through it so you can watch it step you know all the rows and um, if you know how to do this you can skip it so then we're going to slip that stitch slip a stitch off the left needle you're going to knit two together and then you're going to knit one and then you're going to slip that and pale to the last stitch we've only got four more rows left guys this is the the least amount of rows you need to knit but they're the most important ones in the sock I think if you get this wrong then your socks just fly out the window then so I've got one stitch left so I'm going to pick that one put my needle through the six stitches on here pale two together pale one and we've got four stitches and we're going to slip to the last stitch just to the last stitch guys we're nearly there right so we've come to the last stitch slip it slip the next one knit two together, knit one and I've got two stitches left and then we're going to slip that one and we're going to pearl to the last stitch on this one one stitch left so I'm going to pale two together pale one and I've got two stitches left on that one so I've got two more rows and we're complete on the flap and then we're going to work on the gusset then so we're going to slip knit to the last stitch what I would suggest guys is get some scrap yarn and just have a play until you've you know until it sits in your mind exactly what you're doing um, and that just practice practice it doesn't matter if you get it wrong try again so can you see the how it sits there does not look nice so now we're going to come to last stitch so I'm going to slip that I'm going to slip that, knit two together, knit one. Can you see how we've worked all the stitches in? And now we're going to slip one, slip one, pearl to the last stitch. And after you've done this, you should have 18 stitches on this. On this, so we've decreased from 32 to 18 stitches, but we will get them back when we do the gusset. So I'm at the last stitch, pearl two together, whoops, pearl two together, pearl one. And there we have it. We have done the flap. So you've done, you've got the heel turn and you've got the gusset. So now what we're going to do, we're going to knit across these, we're going to pick up 
16 stitches down here and one here I'm going to pick up 17 then we're going to work around this bit so what we're going to do is and it's important that you have your extra stitch marker so we're going to slip one you're going to knit 90, uh, um, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you're going to put this stitch marker there. And then you're going to knit the other 9 now. Because this is going to denote the start of every row until you've got all your decreases in but first off let's not run before we can walk so that's two four five six seven eight and nine and there we go and now I'm going to stop it here and then I'm going to start up and I'm going to show you how to pick up 16 stitches. Okay? Right, okay, so all the slip stitches, if you can see the, B, the, the V's here these are where you're going to pick up the stitches so on when you did this these rows you always slipped the first and the last uh, first stitch on every row and the reason we've done that is because they are what you're going to pick up so can you see a V if I just hold it down here like this can you see all these V's these are the V's that you're going to use to pick up your 16 stitches so Right, so what I like to do, just a tip, I like to go from this one here and count up 16. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is my first one. And you go through, you go through the two V's so you've got two stitches, two, and then you're going to knit it. So that's one. And you're going to do the next one. Go through both posts. That's two. That's three. That's four. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me just put the light on. Move the light across. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and before I go any further I go back to here and I know now I've done 9 before I started the picking up so two four six eight nine and now and count these so that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen now what I like to do here there's um I like to pick up the so be let me see if I can show you 
get me other needle. So between here I get this, this piece and I knit into the back of it and I count that as 17. Okay, so I'm going to put my marker in here now, I'll put my marker back because I'm back here and I'm knitting across the front. So you're just going to knit across these 32 stitches. Put my marker back as well because that's the end of the and the start of the other row. So as before, I'm going to pick up this this um, and that I find that helps with not getting a hole. You know, when you've made your socks, you don't get a hole, right? So as before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count down. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's my first of the 16. And as before, go through both posts and knit it. So you need to do 16. So that's 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. And then you knit then to so I just double check so I should have 17 because remember I picked up this stitch here so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so I've got 17 and now I'm going to complete this round by knitting to that stitch marker the yellow stitch marker which now denotes the beginning of each round while we're decreasing Right, okay, so now we're going to go on round one, which is a decrease row. Okay, so you're going to knit to three stitches before this marker. So you're going to knit three stitches before this marker. So just knit. to do so we've got three stitches before this marker okay and we're going to knit two together knit one place move your marker across to the other needle and then you're going to just knit to the next marker point so we knit these 32 stitches until we get to the other marker So we've come to the marker, you move that across and we're going to knit one and then we're going to slip, slip, knit two together. And that is what creates this here. 
Can you see this nice decreased edge? That is what we're going to be creating now. So I've done that and I'm going to finish this row because this is row one and I know when I get to, so I just knit this continuous now until I get to the yellow marker which is the end of this row. So there we go, that's round one completed. Now round two is just a, a knit row, you just, no decreasing, you just knit. So when you've done round two, I'll come back and I'll show you again the decrease row. So every odd row you're decreasing before the pink stitch marker and then you decrease one after the green stitch marker. So go. I'm going to go away, I'm going to knit this row and then I'm going to come back and um, do the third row with you. Okay, okay, so I've finished round two and I've started round three now and I've got two, three stitches before the stitch marker and I'm going to knit them two together, knit one, slip marker and then knit to the next marker where I will... Um, do another decrease and if you just remember all the odd numbers you're decreasing all the even rows you are just plain knitting so I'll just do this and then I'll show you what I uh, what I usually do just so I don't get uh, and um, what I used to do when I first started knitting socks um, so I wouldn't um, mess it up um, so I, I would have that really nice seam as you can see I've got it on both sides of the sock and it just adds a nice adds to the sock okay so I'm get, coming up to the um, the stitch marker and I know I've got to knit up to the stitch marker and slip it and then I've got to knit one and then I'm going to sl slip, slip, knit two together and continue knitting the, to, the, to here so that is round three done and what I've done guys is I've put one, two, 1 to 10 and 11 to 20. I've done rounds 1 and 2 and I'm just doing 3. So I know 4 are just plain knit rows. So when you get to, you're going to end up with having 32, um, 32 stitches from this green marker right the way round to this one. So you, if you continue doing those two rows, so um, the odd rows you're decreasing here and here and then on the even rows you don't decrease and then when you get to the point where you've got 16 stitches after you've decreased, so you have 16 stitches to this marker, 16 stitches from this marker to this marker, so that's a total of 32. Do one more round of just plain knitting and then I will come back and I'll show you what to do and how to measure for your the foot of your sock. So I will see you in a while. So enjoy, take your time, no rush guys um, and that. And as I said before, if you need any help, just, just email me and uh, I'll help you. So yeah, so that is how we get that. So we've done that, we've done this, and now we're doing this bit here. And what's that, what that does, that helps with the, the width of the sock over the, the top of your foot. And then we work, I know, I know guys, my, and then what, 
what I do then is I knit, once I've done that, I knit my socks up until a point and I try them on and, and once this part of the sock gets to the, my toes, the top of, you know, the top of me here of my toes, I'll show you. It's easier to take uh, film it and show you how I do it. And then I know shaping the top here will actually fit around my toes. So that was for later on. This is for now. So I hope you everything's explained to you guys. If you need any help, just email me. But I think it's self-explanatory and I think I've gone as slow as I possibly can, guys. So good luck. Okay, guys, so we should now have... We've done all the decreasing for the gusset. So now what we need to do is... After you do your last decrease row, you do another knit row and you should have 32. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So now what we're going to do now is we're just going to knit to the toe. We're going to knit to our little toe. So um, I know I need to do 44 rows and what I'll do is I'll show you when I get to 44 rows I'll show you. I will film this sock on my toe and then I'll show you on my foot I mean. So what I do to make sure that both socks are the same I put a, a stitch marker in the first row after I have knitted uh, after I've done the rib I did a, a knit row and then I count up in tens so that's 10 that's 20 that's 30 that's 40 and then I do an extra four rows and then I start decreasing so and that helps me to ensure that both socks are exactly the same so what you need to do now is you need to get rid of your stitch marker which was denotes the, the beginning of every row of every row to help with your decreasing. So you're going to remove that now and what you're going to do is just continue knitting the sock, the foot of the sock until it reaches your little toe. Um, so um so i i i got a little foot um so i t i uh, knit 44 rick has got a bigger foot and i do 60 60 rows for him and then i i shape but um so i'm going to go away now and i'm going to knit my 44 rows well, I've got less than 44 rows, so here we are. This is what I'm going to do. So I get, I go to a pearl row, you know, that when you've knit two pearl two, I go to the pearl, and then the first knit stitch after that, I put a stitch marker. And then every 10 rows, I put a stitch marker. And that just helps me. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops. And then let's see if I've done another ten rows. I don't think I have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Oh, I have. <laughs> I have. So I have only got what twenty-four more rows to do. So that's my tenth row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away. And knit until it's the, the, I'm going to go away and knit the next 24 rows. 
and then when I've done the 24 rows I will then show you um, um, how to make sure that the sock is the length that you need it um, before you shape your toe and then I'll show you how to shape your toe and then once that's done I will show you then how to do the Kitchener stitch so I hope um, you will understand what I've been um, trying to teach you today um, with this video please if you have any questions just email me and the email is always in the description box below so I'm going to go away do my um, 24 rows and then I'll take um, I'll show you then what next to do happy knitting okay guys so as you can see this is the, the completed sock this is the completed sock and I've come to there and as you can see with the the decrease in there it's just across here and now if you come to this one this is where I'm up to and I knit the sock to the bottom of my um, little toe and now I'm going to do the show the toe shaping and as you can see it fits it looks quite good and this is sorry and this is how it looks on the side and you can see my stitch markers down so yeah so if you knit your sock to the base of your little toe and um, I know now that I am up to the um, shaping of my toe okay so I hope that little bit of footage showed um, it gave you some idea on how this sock fits on my foot and um, where to start your um, toe shaping so um, I put that back in I took this little mark out because I didn't want to lose it so now we're going to do the toe shaping of the toe so what you're going to do is you're going to knit one slip two onto your right hand needle and then knit two together you're going to knit two three stitches before the next marker So just quickly knit to the marker what you're going to in effect do you're going to decrease on one on one row and knit a row and um, so every other row you're going to be decreasing until you've got 16 stitches between each marker so I'm three stitches before the marker I'm going to knit two together knit one slip your marker knit one slip slip and then knit two together knit to the next marker three three stitches before and that is round one there we go so I'm three three stitches again before the marker and I'm going to knit two together and then the next row is knit one you just knit this row so as before when we did the decreasing on the gusset here we're going to do exactly the same so your odd rows you're going to decrease 
um, a stitch at the beginning of section one you knit to the marker and you decrease here and then you slip your marker and you decrease again you knit to the next marker which is the beginning of the row and you decrease to round of the next round you're going to just knit so if we just knit this row and then I'll I'll come back and I'll show you the decrease row again okay so I'm going to show you again how to decrease for the shaping of the toe this is um so I've done the first decrease row and then I knit a row and then I'm going to do another decrease row which is the first one is knit one slip slip knit two together and then knit two three stitches before the next marker and um, and that's what you're going to do until you've got 32 stitches complete so you're going to decrease 32 stitches um, so that's um, 16 rows um, two stitches on every odd row and a knit row until you get to 16 stitches on the front of the sock which as we know is um, where the markers is so I always know the front of my sock for me is here the back of the sock is got no markers but it's got the um, the heel heel flap and gusset so I'm nearly there now I just want you to understand what I'm trying to say so there we go so I've come to three stitches before and I'm going to knit two together knit one and you do exactly the same on the back part of the um, the sock um, knit one slip slip and then knit two together and then knit two three stitches before the, the um, before the next marker and that is why I have a different colour marker for so I know the green denotes the back of the the sock and the pink I know that is the start of the of a new row and is the front and you're going to just continue doing these two rows until you've got 16 stitches on each side in total 32 stitches and I will just show you how to do this decrease row and then I will come back and I'll show you what to do when you've got your 16 stitches on and um, if you use in if you do the um what's it called can't remember what it's called now. Um, if you're using small circulars like me, um, then when I get to a certain point, I change to my three DPNs, and I will show you that when I get to that point. But I continue in the round until I can't do. Um, I'm trying to think what it's called, where you've got the needle and the long. Uh, the long uh, cord oh I can't remember what it's called now anyway so there we go I went to the last three let me just do that I was talking so I shouldn't have. so I've come to the last three and I'm just going to knit two together knit one slip marker and now I'm on a knit row and it's very easy to tell which row you're on and um, so if I lift it up here you can see this is you can see the knit two together and then this one here there is no knit two together and then I'd knit another two together and this is a knit row so if for some reason you put it down you pick it up and you think oh where am I you will automatically know because if the last row is just a single then you know the next row you do a, a knit two together and uh, I hope that helps you and I will be back when we've got 16 
stitches on each side in total we need 32 stitches so I'll see you again at the end right I have now transferred from my circular to two DPNs so I'm down to now 16 stitches on the back and 16 stitches on the front and now what we need to do now is we need to decrease on every row um, two stitches until we get eight stitches and then we're going to be doing the Kitchener stitch so first off so um, I'm just going to continue decreasing as before but we're going to decrease on every row until we get to eight stitches so um, obviously I've been doing my socks like this for quite a while now so I'm used to working with just three DPNs if it's easier for you to work with four DPNs for the toes then that is entirely up to you and uh, but I kind of quite used to it now so I'm going to come back I'm going to finish these eight rows um no not eight is it eight yeah it is eight rows and I will come back and then I will show you then guys how to do the Kitchener stitch and then we're done we're done um so I'll see you in just a little while okay so I've got I've got my eight stitches left two four six eight two four six eight so now we're going to do the Kitchener stitch and I like to leave I like to leave a long I like to have a, a, a decent sized yarn so cut the yarn I've still got all that left <laughs> so okay so what we're going to do uh, I'm going to go really really slow and I brought it right the way down so keep you two two needles parallel which is why one of the reasons why I transferred to my uh, magic loop remember I was talking to you about the magic loop where you have two needles and then the long loop and then you thingy that around. some people prefer that so what you're going to do is you've got your back needle and your front needle so in you're going to take the yarn and you're going to put it through the first stitch as if you're going to knit it you're going to pull it through and then you're going to take that one off then you're going to go into the second stitch and you're going to purl it but you're not going to remove that stitch so that stays on now when you move to the back of the stitch this stitch was a pearl so you're going to purl this stitch you're going to purl it and you're going to take that one off and then when you do that tighten tighten and I always when I've tightened it I always kind of hold it down with my thumb then you're going to knit this stitch and this stitch stays on the needle okay you're going to move to the front needle now and you're going to knit that stitch and remember that stitch comes off and you're going to just tighten it and then the second stitch is a pearl but it stays on the needle okay now you're going to move to the back needle and the first stitch is a pearl and that stitch comes off and then you're going to pull it and tighten it and I just like to hold my yarn and then I need to knit this stitch before I move to the front 
and then we're going to go to the front needle and we're going to knit the first stitch and remembering that this one comes off and then hold that down and then the second stitch we're going to pearl it and it stays on the needle okay then the pearl the stitch at the back needle on the back needle I've paled it and I'm going to take that off my needle and then I'm going to pull gently pull not too tight guys not too tight and hold it down and then I'm going to knit that stitch okay pull it round I'm going to knit this stitch on my front needle and I'm going to take the knit stitch off remember the front first stitch on the front is a knit and it comes off and now I'm going to do my pearl stitch on my front needle and I'm going to pearl it leaving the stitch on the needle then I'm going to the back needle I'm going to pearl that stitch and take it off the needle and at this point I'm going to gently pull it and then I'm going to go back and knit that stitch and leave that on the back needle move to the front knit the first stitch on your front needle and take it off the needle holding the yarn down and I'm going to pearl this stitch my second stitch and leave it on I'm going to pearl, go to the back needle pearl the stitch and take it off the needle there we go and then gently pull it and then go back and knit the second the next stitch on the back needle moving to the front you knit the stitch and you take it off the needle there we go and then you're going to pearl that stitch and leave it on go to the back needle pearl the first stitch making sure that you actually grab hold of the stitch and take it off the needle and then pull it gently so you've got a nice join so I've peeled that off and I need to remember to knit that one and leave that on the needle go to the front we're nearly there now guys nearly there I can get over to the needle there we go so I've knit that I'm going to the front and I'm going to knit this stitch now but this one comes off my needle and I'm left with one stitch okay and then I'm going to pearl that stitch whoops come on there we go and I'm leaving that on now the next stitch here is a pearl and I'm going to pearl it and I'm going to pearl it off the needle comes off the needle and then I'm going to tighten it knit that stitch it stays on this comes off so I knit this stitch comes off the needle I tighten it and I'm going to pearl that near the stitch and it comes off and now what I do can you see how neat that is and what I like to do is I put me what I do just to secure it I kind of go over and down and pull the needle through and there we go that is the kitchener finished sock okay need to just tighten that a bit and then what I like to do is I like to weave this in now and I just weave it in and out 
up and down for three or four rows. And then I weave it back up. Um, if and weave it back down again. And that is and that is the sock finish guys. I've just got to weave that end in and um, they are the shorty sock tutorial done. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it's a, a, a been of help to you. Um, between each section I'll have um, a thumbnail and in the description box I'll put a timestamp on when the next section is and explain what the next section is in the description box. So check that out. And um, yeah, there my sock tutorial done it's taken a couple of days guys but it's been worth it and i hope you've um you've asked for it i've delivered guys thank you all so very very much for supporting my channel for all your likes your comments for always coming and you know um, visiting me i really do appreciate it welcome to all my new subscribers and my long time existing subscribers thank you all so much for your support that's it from me for this tutorial take care stay safe but more importantly guys be kind to you and until the next video bye